the only party that said no to that. Bravo, bravo. Wonderful. Wonderful. The day we said, first they said we can't come to it, then they should have an embassy. Exactly. Only embassy to country. Even though they don't have a country, they could have a consular, but not not when they are partnering up with with uh, Hamas. This yes. is this is Sweden is a, a, a extremely good example. Sorry, a bad example on partnering up with terror regimes. Sweet. Uh, on behalf of Swedish Jewish Dialogue, I would like to uh, today to the member of parliament uh, Julia Tundi pass over, hand over some some a recommendation that I would define as the Swedish new side, the new strategy of the the Swedish Democrats, Swedish Democratic program. So first of all, it's a very simple, briefly seven point program where it's an action program where we firmly believe in this is the, the most optimal way for you as a Swedish National Christian Party. So first of all, it's a very simple, briefly, seven-point program where it's an action program where we firmly believe in this is the, the most optimal way for you as a Swedish National Christian Party to stand side by side with the only democracy in the Middle East, which is Israel, the state of Israel, with its thriving democracy, with its thriving uh, the, the, uh, diversity, most of all, um, diversity, most of all. So uh, just to summarize up, I would first of all start to analyze and investigate in the corruption affairs of the Swedish humanitarian aid uh, authority, CEDA. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest corruption, you, you will find the biggest corruption scandals in this uh, agency. They are doing everything they can to delegitimize the state of Israel, you know, uh, the, the, the Jewish state. Uh, they've, been, they've been financing directly, they've been funding directly um, art exhibitions in Gaza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is our campaign, okay? They, they are, they, they've been financing and funding directly our art exhibitions where they've been glorifying suicide bombings. And this is what they want to spread. Swedish tax money, CEDA. So we, we, should set, we should put a stop for this. We should, set, we should put a stop for this. Second one, the Swedish humanitarian aid. According to the, the previous uh, former uh, development minister, Gurila um, Carlson, she said, we gonna, we will, she threatened the Palestinian Authority, the so-called Palestinian Authority, uh, by decreasing the, um, the annual uh, amount from 720 million Swedish crowns, once again, 720 million Swedish crowns annually to 500 million Swedish crowns. Why should we decrease it? Take it off all the way. This take it off all the way. This so we need to decrease it from seven hundred and twenty million to zero. Not decrease it from seven hundred and twenty million to zero. The third point the Swedish embassy should not be in Tel Aviv. It should be in the capital of the state of Israel, which is Jerusalem, which is the undivided the eternal capital of the state of Israel. Undisputed, nothing else to, to discuss about. Nothing else to, to discuss about. The Palestinian embassy of Sweden should be revoked. There shouldn't be a Palestinian embassy. They, they updated... They updated. the only party that said no. Bravo, bravo. Wonderful. Yeah, the the day, day, first they should be a country, then they should have an embassy. Exactly. Only embassy to country, then not to country. Even though they don't have a country, they could have a consular, yeah, but they, not they, they, not when they are partnering up with, with uh, Hamas. This yeah. is this is Sweden is a, a, a extremely good example. Sorry, a bad example on <laughs> partnering up with terror regime. Sweden today is cooperating with the Islamic Republic of Iran, the biggest exporter of state-funded terrorism. Hamas, Hezbollah is the two most prominent organizations. 
and are working throughout their proxies, through their embassies and ambassadors throughout the world to exporting terrorism. Islamic Republic of Iran. We should kick out these people. Iran. We should kick out these people. If freedom is, is a democracy, we should fulfill that by keep kicking these uh, embassies and people out. All right. My, my fourth point, the Swedish church, what is their actual <laughs> task? What is their actual assignment? It is a theological institution or a political institution? <laughs> Good question. So, so you need to raise this because <clears throat> we don't want to see the, the bishop of Sweden okay, to partner up with the so-called Palestinian cause <clears throat> and once again the legitimizing the state of Israel and the Jewish people. And of course, the, the free churches around Sweden that are pro-Israel, that are Zionists, that love the only democracy in the Middle East, we should, we should actually raise that question as well. Uh, it is Swedish, the Swedish church is a corrupted organization, and they have totally left their, the original path, with, which was supposed to be a theological institution, and not a political one. And, and my sixth uh, remark is that we definitely have to raise awareness about the so-called Palestinian issue. As what Mr. Zahran is claiming, in Sweden the Palestinian movement, which is publishing um, magazines with state-funded money, uh, like uh, Isolate Israel, Net, this is from one network, and then you have from, from the, the, one of the most prominent ones, the PGS, the Palestine Groups of Sweden. This is all propaganda. This is all hatred. My last point is to, once again, to revoke, to revoke um, the, the status that the UNRWA shares for the Palestinian refugee status, that they always, from generation to generation, are, having, they are sharing the same uh, um, refugee status, no matter if they're born here, and so on. So, thank, thank you, you a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs>